Hey YouTube, it's me again. Um, today I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do my first story time and I thought might as well just, you know, share some of my most embarrassing stories that I've ever had in my life. So the first story is gonna be in fourth grade when I accidentally had a accident in the classroom. Basically what happened was um, I hadn't been feeling good all morning and I said, mom, I really don't want to go to school today. It's, you know, it's not kind of one of those days I really just don't feel like going to class and, you know, seeing everybody, all that stuff. So she was like, you have to go to school, Des, you know, you just gotta push through it, it'll be fine. So I get to school, I'm still not feeling good. My stomach is just churning everywhere. And um, I get to my, I think I have like, two transition classes. I, I had two classes I would go back and forth to for different subjects. And um, I got into this class and this teacher I, had, I already had issues with in the past. He was very like, you know, pushy and just, you know, extra about everything. Always trying to give us extra work for no reason. Why might you ask? I don't know. Anyway, so nine-year-old me is like, oh my gosh, I still don't feel good. And I like, I was very shy as a kid, so it didn't like even like terrify me to go ask somebody to like go use the restroom, like even a teacher at that. So I finally got up the guts to like ask the teacher, hey, I need to use the restroom, I'm not feeling too good, or, or could I go to the nurse's office? And his reply is, I am sick and tired. Well, not anymore. I'm actually, I'm so over can't even get the words out. When teachers are like, you could have done this at this time. Girl, I didn't have to go at that time, hello? Anyway, so I, out of all of my failed attempts to ask him to use the restroom, he wouldn't let me, he kept you know, denying, like letting me go to the nurse's office. And regardless of me looking pale as hell, and still like, just all day in class, he still wouldn't let me go to the restroom. So I'm still sitting there, it's about, you know, Time is just passing by, it's about like 30 minutes left of class. I'm still asking him at this point because like he was getting irritated with me because I was I was very persistent in like trying to get to the nurse's office because I was gonna blow chunks everywhere. And I hadn't eaten anything, so it's probably part of the issue too, but you know, it was flu season, so it's probably just going around. But I finally like was like very pushy with asking him. Like I was like, I really need to go, like it's a huge emergency. And he was like, no. Like, I already told you, like, multiple times, you cannot use the restroom or go to the nurse's office. And I was like, okay, fine, it's cool. So then, five minutes left of class comes up, and he says, Desmond, it's okay for you to go to the restroom now. And I'm sitting there like, oh, wow, you really want to let me go five minutes before class ends. I've been counting down the minutes to when I can get to go to the nurse's office before I throw up in your classroom, and this is how you want to, like, really? So at that moment, I'm like, okay, I can't even get up to like, I can't even get up at this point, like I'm, it's so bad. So my response is, wait for it, I literally threw up on the desks that were in front of me and then I shit my pants. Like I had diarrhea coming out of my pants, like just like a fountain, it was both ways, just nonstop. And I think that was the moment I knew that, wow, I really am gonna go down as the kid that just had a fountain of himself all over the classroom. So, I'm still throwing up, kids are backing away, screaming, laughing, I'm like just <laughs> all over the place. And I finally stop from both ends. And the teacher's like, um, so do you wanna go to the nurse's office? No, no, it's fine. I don't, I don't need to go to the nurse's office. I just, you know, had my DNA all over his classroom. It's fine, like I didn't, are you kidding? Now, now go to the nurse's office? Like what? Regardless of that, my mom picked me up. I went to, I went home, and um, she clean. I got cleaned up, thank God. And um, I just, you know, from that day on, I've never been like able to unthink that. Like it was so, it was so vivid. Like being so many years ago, like ten years ago. That's crazy. Ten years. Yeah, ten years ago, I still to this day I'm scarred. Like I'm sure anybody would be. Like that's insane. Like who? I don't know. So that's my throwing up and shitting story. Uh, my next story is a little more personal. It's kind of like me not, I wasn't out, okay, let's just say I wasn't out yet. Um, second story is getting caught watching um, gay programs on my TV. So basically, me being the gay child that I am, um, I hadn't come out until I was 16, but like around the ages of, let's just say like 10 to 12 or 13 maybe, 
um, Degrassi was a thing. So I would watch Degrassi and there were same sex couples on the show and you know, I was like a little intrigued because you know, why not? And I would watch the programs, only the ones with the gay characters in them, and that was kind of like, you know, my little like getaway because I like didn't have that influence in my house. It was kind of like, you know, whatever. But um, I basically watched, I recorded and watched the programs. That was my issue. I recorded the programs, and the mom would be like, "Who's recording this? I'm not watching this, so it must be." Yes. And she basically came to me one day, and she was like, "Hey, I know you're like a little curious about some." certain things she would never bring up the word she would just say you know just don't record that on our tv i said okay mom another little side story to that i think when i just was feeling all my female like pop stars britney beyonce katie you name it all the you know pop queens right at that time at my age um, I would dance in my room to their songs and I would just kind of, you know, make up my own little dances and like just go all out like how they would go out on stage. And I think that's when I kind of like when I experienced dance it was like on my own, but whatever. But um, <laughs> I would be in my room for hours just dancing to these songs and my mom would like knock on the door because the music was like blasting. And she'd be like, what are you doing in there? I'm like, I'm just listening to music, mom, and nothing, you know, too serious. And she was like, okay. So then <laughs> that was my getaway for like a good two years. And then finally, like one day I didn't lock my door and I was just like, okay, jam up session in my room, little concert I'm gonna give to the crowd. My mom walks in and she sees me like just some move. I was like, I was probably twerking for all, for all I know. And she was like laughing at me. She was like, Desmond. I was like, what mom? And she was like, are you dancing? And I was like, mom, of course not. I'm just, just, just being, me. My third story is about when I got casted as a gay character and I wasn't really out yet. I was, um, and it was this, this was in high school, it was my sophomore year of high school. Um, we did this show called Almost May, and it was really, it's a really good uh, show. It's based off of ten um, couples that live in the city of, uh, not the city, the state of Maine. And um, we got auditions were um, one day, and then we got the, I think we got, I think we had two days of auditions, and then we had the callback list come out like the third day. And um, I, you know, researched the the show and like looked up who the characters were, and there was um, there was talk before of there being a same sex uh, couple, and I was like, that's so cool, like that's good that we're like, we're doing this for high school and the kind of time that we're in, and just you know it building and stuff, but um, I didn't realize that I was gonna be casted as that character. You know that kind of like feeling when like you know, people are like, oh yeah, like I already know. And like, I'm like, oh, I thought I just, oh, okay. It's kind of like that sense of pitch perfect when Stacy or whatever her name is, is like, guys, I have a lot of sex. And then Fat Amy's like, we know Stacy. And then Stacy's like, only cause I just told you. Like that's how I came out, like to my friends at least. My family was like, oh my God. And then like me, I was like, guys, I'm gay. They were like, Oh, yeah, we know. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. But anyway, that's how that went. But yeah, I got casted as a gay character. Um, I was very um, honored in a way. I, it was 50-50 for me because it was kind of uncomfortable, but I was also very, um, very like, kind of excited because like I hadn't been represented that way and being an actual gay man, like I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So um, the, the show went on and you know, I, the, the guy that was my partner in the in, in our scene was straight and it was really cool because he was very respectful and that, that's what I love about theater is that people are really accepting and really like just comfortable with you know LGBTQ or like anything you know it's just we're all just a big happy family so um, doing the scene with him was very cool he was very um, comfortable with me it was very awesome he, nothing like weird was ever happening but like our, our chemistry was, like, was really nice and I think just for me like I wasn't really embarrassed I think I was just more like Kind of like that was like my step into like wow theater's like where I'm supposed to be like this is like probably the best thing ever, and um, that actually a cool little uh, ending note to the story is that we got a standing ovation I think like twice for um, our scene because there were some same sex couples in the audience and they were just really happy with our performance and we worked really hard on it and it was just it was kind of a good moment so I'm actually kind of glad I got cast up as, as that character and was able to show you know a live audience you know this is. You know, this is how love happens. It's, you know, it's the same for everybody. 
So yeah, those are my embarrassing stories. And thank you guys for watching this video. I will be trying to film a lot more and trying to have little side videos for you guys. Maybe some dance videos. We'll see what's happening. So I'm trying to work some things out with some people. So you guys will be seeing some more soon. But I hope you guys like this video. Um, leave a thumbs up and put my notifications on so you guys know when I'm posting some more videos. But um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe, tell your friends. Do all the stuff I usually tell you to do. Follow me on my socials. will be in the link in below. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.